Hey everybody, Jonathan here, and uh, we get all kinds of requests to do factory direct builds. That's where uh, Buffalo Modular Homes is simply providing the modules to you, taking care of the delivery, the set, taking care of the crane, any transportation costs, and taking care of the roof, and then leaving the remaining elements of the build, both before that and after that, things like excavation and basement, utilities, and then some finishing work. We're leaving those things for you, the homeowner, uh, or whomever you hire to, uh, to complete that work. But uh, probably the most common request that we get for Factory Direct when you're either out of the area of Western New York or you're, or you're completely out of the state altogether is for chalets. And so um, just because of the nature of a chalet and kind of what makes it unique with this vaulted space um, and getting questions all the time about what am I going to be left with, you know, what, what's, what needs to be done from here, I thought I'd do a video for you guys showing you and giving you a visual of the state of the house and what's left to be done. So this is the marriage wall of the house here. This is actually probably the easiest way to show you right here. So you can see this line here is where the two sections, section one and section two, uh, come together. And you can see there's some supports that were put in for transportation purposes uh, that can be removed later on. You can see obviously there's some drywall patching that needs to be done. Uh, Jeremy had done another video that really well describing all of these things, but the house wasn't a chalet. So I wanted to show you a chalet specifically. So here is the vaulted space. So we're gonna just kind of pan around so you can see this. This is where the dining room space is gonna be. And uh, this is the living room space. Uh, this floor plan is called the Ultra 9. Uh, it's on our site. It's a really, uh, really neat uh, chalet. It's a little different than a lot of other chalet designs. Here's the kitchen back here. So it's actually under the flat ceiling space. So coming back to the vaulted space, we'll go upstairs as well, but I wanted to show you kind of how this is gonna come, okay? So you got these, these vertical supports in here. Okay, um, that are put in for shipping purposes. Okay, that's all they're here for, so they can be removed. Plus, you can see, actually you can see it right here. Um, you can see this right here, and then going all the way across, um, all of this wood can get removed, okay? So this is all gonna be vaulted up to above, okay? And it'll be easier to see that when I go upstairs. Um, but I wanted to show you that from the first floor standpoint. So here as well, you can see there's gonna be some drywall work that needs to be done. Now, some of this is based on this, the specifics of how you do your chalet um, in terms of where your window positions and stuff like that are. Um, but either way, regardless, there will definitely be some work that needs to be done right along the center line where the two modules come together. For this particular one, this whole section of wall was put in on site uh, on set day. Now that would be something that we would take care of. We would take care of it to the point that you're seeing right here. Okay, and you can see there's all the different ship loose materials. Here's some siding, uh, here's some of the flooring. You can see actually right here, you can see that they completed the flooring right to this point and then you can carry it along the rest of the way on site. So they just put in the subfloor for that portion, but you can see they've, uh, they've put in this flooring. They've actually covered up uh, a good portion of it as well so it doesn't get damaged. Um, and then that can get completed on site. So we'll come over from this side as well so you can see from over here. Um, kind of how this comes together. So I'll back up here into the kitchen, give you a better visual. So you can see um, there's clearly a cutoff here of where the, uh, you know, the flat ceiling comes in and then the vaulted space goes up, okay? Now this is, uh, <clears throat> this is gonna be, um, you know, a, a vault situation where you actually have a shorter overhang here. There's a bunch of different ways to do this and different factories that we work with offer different options of how to do this. So if you're planning on a chalet, let's make sure that we clarify that really well so that you have a good understanding of um, what it's gonna be finished out as and making sure it's in line with what your intentions are. So this homeowner specifically is gonna put in uh, fireplace here uh, and TV above um, on this wall. So that's why they kind of separated the window space out. You know, I've seen a lot of designs where you do some sliding glass doors on the back um, instead or you know, push the windows together. This is what this homeowner chose to do. So let's go upstairs as well so you can see that up there, okay? So as we come around, uh, you can see there's a little bit of trim work that needs to get completed still. Um, here's a bunch of the insulation um, that can be put up in that vaulted space. Um, and then there's some more insulation in the master as well. Uh, we'll do a full tour of the house later on once it's closer to completion. Um, but you can see the stairs up. And so with the way that this is, 
Um, <clears throat> if we're doing all the work, like if we're doing a turnkey and you're doing a chalet or a cape, either way, where it's got the higher ceiling and the stairs up, you either need a door at the bottom of the stairs or a door at the top of the stairs. And then this would all get drywalled in to have a fully enclosed envelope if this space is intended to be unfinished um, when you're trying to get your certificate of occupancy, okay? So, <clears throat> so for this particular one, like I said, chalet. Um, so we're gonna walk over here to the, uh, to the open space. You can see obviously tons of room up here. There's just, I mean, <laughs> this is a lot of space up here, which is really amazing and, and, and quite fantastic for, uh, for this homeowner to be able to finish all the space out later on, you know, as their family kind of grows and expands, their needs change over time. Um, it's just, a, it's a really great setup. So you can see we have these, uh, these load bearing posts um, you know, the joists that come in and they're coming down to a post. Um, so this will need to be completed on site as well. So this is exactly how it's going to come for you if you do factory direct and you can see they just put some, um, some of the, uh, uh, subfloor in here to, to just kind of make it a little bit easier to walk around up here because what's kind of nice about having that is when you do, um, end up finishing the ceiling, whether you're doing like, a you know, a tongue and groove sort of setup or knotty pine or, or you're doing drywall either way. Um, this allows you to, you know, maybe save yourself from needing to get scaffolding in here because otherwise you'd be, you know, your floor is down below and you have to get scaffolding all the way up. But if you leave this in until after you finish your ceiling, that really sets you up to succeed. Okay. So you can see, um, here's the other portion of that wall that was put in on site. Okay. And then you can see, probably can't see it super well, but actually, um, right here, right at this, uh, break point where it turns into the vaulted space, this whole roof over here was uh, half of it was shingled and then the other half was done on site. All of this was put in on site on set day, okay? Um, in this vaulted space, okay? So, and then shingled out from there. So this one actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this was actually a two day set uh, because of the amount of shingling work that needed to be done and the, and the roof system and stuff. So, but is this gives you a good understanding of what you're gonna be left with um, after we leave on set day or set days, uh, depending on the project and, and the extent of it. But, you know, you can see there's, a, there's uh, some electrical that's been stubbed up in here as well. Um, you can stub up your plumbing. They got plumbing line right here as well, um, which is really great for, for, uh, for future finishing or if we're doing turnkey and we're gonna finish all the space out for you, um, that can be really helpful as well. Thanks so much for watching and I uh, hope this has been helpful to you as you're thinking about your project, whether it's uh, in Western New York or out of the area or out of state completely, and you're thinking about uh, building with us and, and trying to get us involved and kind of understanding um, what the state of things is, how much is Buffalo Modular Homes taken care of, how much am I left with, those sorts of things. Take a look through all of our factory direct videos. Um, there's some walkthrough videos, there's some testimonials from some homeowners and kind of how things worked for them personally, which can be really helpful helpful to kind of understand something from somebody who's not specifically in the trades and seeing is this realistic for me to take on or is this outside of my wheelhouse and I need to get a contractor involved. Um, either way, we'd love to help you with your project, uh, whether it's just simply through watching these videos and giving you some information uh, or actually getting involved with your project. So just reach out to us and uh, we'd love to help. Thanks for watching.